Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another City Skylines 2 developmental diary video number three. This video is about public and cargo transportation. So for today, I'm gonna give you my review and just figure, just find some of the little tidbits that you might've missed while watching this video. So let's get started. So just disclaimer, you will hear the commentator going through it and I will be stopping the video when I find something interesting. Let's get started. Beautiful City Skylines 2 logo. Transport networks set the rhythm of life in your city. As they move people and cargo, they can create harmony and... Stop real quick. I think that tunnel, by the way, looks absolutely fantastic. I know that sounds stupid, but, you know, before, if you looked in the tunnels in City Skylines 1, you'd see little to no detail. And right there, you kind of do see a little bit of detail of the tunnels. And I do like the trees around it, by the way. So let's keep going. Discord. This finely tuned orchestra of ships. Whoa, stop right there. Okay, what a beautiful picture. It's raining, we have the downtown lit up, and we have a cargo ship off to the right. Just an abs amazing imagery. Amazing imagery. So let's keep going. Beautiful scene, though. Very nice. I love it. Vehicles, planes, and trains. Ooh, planes and trains. So, um, all right, if you look here, this is our first official look at a City Skylines 2 airport, like, you know, up close in person. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I think this is just a generic airport. There is no City Skylines airport DLC type thing going on. I just think that this is the new airport. It looks really good, but obviously you don't have as much flexibility when, you know, other... When you're playing, you know, when you're playing the City Skylines Airport DLC, you could literally do whatever you want. But this one, you know, you're just plopping it down. But it looks massive, by the way. Absolutely massive. Let's keep going. Is yours to conduct. To create a thriving metropolis, maintain a steady beat to keep your city in motion. <laughs> you build a city from scratch in City Skylines 2. No public transport, no tracks, no, no runways. Okay, so they brought up the same view and kind of like a different camera angle. I think this could be a City Skylines camera mod of some sort because it's basically the same angle, but it just shows you different developmental stages of the actual growth of the city. That's just my thinking when I see that. So maybe it's, you know, maybe it's like the Acne um, City Skylines one camera mod, just, just throwing that out there. I'm not really sure. I can't confirm that, but just an idea. Let's keep going. Creating these and other transportation networks is a... Oh, ooh, ooh. I think, um, in the background, you could see our ferry boats. Those things look... And I think that's a ferry harbor right back there. So I'm going to zoom in on that. I think that's what I think it is. Those ferries look huge. Absolutely huge. I wonder what... How many people can go on those boats? Probably 12. <laughs> if you play City Skylines 1, you get that joke. Sorry, I was laughing at myself. So let's keep going. Crucial first step. After that, improving and integrating them paves the way for expansion. When you establish your city, citizens... All right, I'm going to hit the pause button so far. So, so far we've seen ferries and... Um, now we have trams and buses. So, so far we have a lot of basic transportation already in this video that will come with City Skylines 2. Oh, taxi. Add in, add in taxi. The first transport options you'll unlock. Okay, I wanted to stop this right here real quick. So, if you look at this main screen, you can see a bunch of things going on right now. Now... Right here is the bus depot. That's what I'm assuming, not the bus depot, excuse me. This is a bus station. Excuse me, that was my bad. That was a, that was embarrassing. But this is a bus station, I believe. It's 150,000 and I think again, prices for City Skylines 2 things in general are going to be just through the roof compared to the previous game where this would probably cost like $10,000, but anyways, um, let's keep going. All right. And oh, oh, I did notice something. If you look to the left, there is, I believe, a cargo train. Yes, a cargo train station. You can see how many tons a month we are bringing in and how many routes there are. Ooh, that's that's interesting. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then you can also see how many tourists a month on the left hand side are using all public transportation. But I think the cargo part is even more interesting. How many tons of cargo 
we're bringing in to the city. Ooh, that was interesting. So we have a bus stop here and we've realized how much cargo we're importing or exporting. Ooh, let's keep going. There. Yeah, I think that is a bus station. I'm just I'm just guessing that is a bus station. Anyways, keep going. Oh, 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 oh. That was the taxi depot. Oh, let's go back. We're going to go real back. Remember, this is okay, real time. Okay. So here is the taxi depot, a garage and repair workshop for taxis. Um, anything interesting? A dispatch center and electric taxis. Okay, let's just see it plop down. Easy to route here. So hundred thousand dollars for taxis, by the way. That's kind of expensive. But okay, so we have taxis and they could be electric. Okay, I'm assuming buses will be the same way. That's just a basic guess. I have, honestly have no idea if I'm right about that, but let's keep going. There and everywhere. Okay, so here's the first look at our bus lines and how to make them. It's It seems like we have three bus stops or we have three stops in a row of some sort. So different lines get different stops. So that looks cool. Then if you go to the left, our train station, our trains, cargo trains are bringing in more and more goods. So that's something interesting. So yeah, so here's our basic bus line. and But I just still think that importing amount of tons of goods is amazing like really really cool all right let's keep going traffic conditions yep there's our bus line starting to run big deal in a new metropolis but it is for a growing city that's when you'll level up your public transport okay there's our trains and tra wait okay so you can see here that we have another we have two more fiats to the left but you can see here that trams well, trams, I should say roads in general can go from a two lane road to a four lane road. And this is what the transition kind of looks like. It's a little funky because it's on a slight diagonal, but at least they're still connected. So that's just something to keep in mind. Also, subways. each one has pros and cons. They're all expensive to build and complicated, requiring depots, tracks, and by the way, the cargo trains that are right in front of us look absolutely amazing. I just want to stop that and make sure you didn't hear that voice. So, or the the commentator. I, I just want to say the cargo trains look awesome. Stops where passengers can buy tickets and get on and off. That means they can't offer the far. Okay, look at this. So, all right. So so far, that is just a normal bus. I don't see anything too fancy about this bus route yet. Line number five. There's nobody on it, but let's keep on. Service of a bus line or the door-to-door -door service of a taxi. Okay, so she kind of brought up something interesting that people might use buses and taxis because they can get you from point A to point B like more direct. Like if you're taking a train or like a metro line, you, you probably do have to walk there. So some citizens might not enjoy walking to the metro station and they just think taxis and buses are a little bit easier to get to. So that's something to keep in mind. So remember comfort, we, they talked about comfort in the last video, that could be something to it where there's, you know, there's people that just want to have the quickest way possible to get from point A to point B without moving or like without really leaving their house. So let's keep going. On the other hand, they're more efficient, not least because they carry more people and cargo. Ooh, let's go back. That was an interesting info. Okay, so the information bar t to the left, still amazing. Like it shows you how much, wow, citizens, you can see how many people are using it. By the way, if you look at the top left, you can see how many transportation total lines you have. So they put them all together, but you can also see that a lot more people are taking them. Like, I feel like in City Skylines 1, like there's only a couple thousand, but this one, like we had, we have 63,992 people that are using public transportation. So I feel like that is much better use of public transportation in this game. That's just my theory. And then if you look on the city itself, you can see what public transportation is available. Like you can see the tram lines, you could see the bus lines, you can see pretty much everything. So that's pretty cool that they're able to show us that. So let's keep going. And cargo and reduce road congestion. Okay, reduce road congestion. Okay, and you can see the flow of the trams and you can see the like the roads and the way it splits. That's kind of cool. Again, I know we know this already, but you can see the prices and how many assigned vehicles you have for each route, the length of the route, the line usage is, you know, only 7% used. Like maybe that's, you know, maybe remember the comfort part? Like maybe it's not comfortable enough for citizens to get to the tram lines. That's just something to keep in mind. 
start with subways. Ooh, subways. Fast, high capacity. Fast, high capacity. Look at that. Efficiency, 118%. Holy moly. And then you can see the comfort. So remember, comfort, I think comfort might be the biggest thing in City Skylines too when you are um, building your city. That's just something to definitely keep in mind. Only four employees work at the underground subway. That's actually amazing. But anyways, let's keep going. And they take up very little room. Very little room, yeah. If they operate above ground, you can run them on elevated tracks so they don't get tangled up with road traffic. So that's cool. Um, they We had this in City Skylines 1 if you're on the PC, but you could have an above ground metro line. I really do like that. Um, I do like the looks of them too, just in your city in general. It looks really good. And by the way, the amount of times that they've shown trams in the City Skylines 2 developmental diary videos is like insane. Like this must be the most like main form of public transportation in this game. Like it's absolutely insane. Trams. They're more flexible than trains, so you can more easily add lines to service new and expanded neighborhoods. So here's our first look at a tram line in general. Um, you can just see how many people are using it, the efficiency of it. Again, I know we know this already, but I just wanted to just see the visual. You know, this is the first time we're actually seeing it. Then I have a video of this of a YouTube short, but you could see that they're upgrading the roads right here. And you're able, let me, I'm going to go back to that and just show you again. So see how in the middle of the road, there's tram tracks and you can upgrade that road, that middle part to tram tracks. So there you go. So we just added it. So that's something cool that you can do. You can upgrade roads and kind of customize them yourself. Very cool. Very awesome. This way to keep the hustle and bustle dialed up. Yep. Trains carry loads of people too. And not just suburbanites. They can bring visitors from outside. Random side note, the trains look absolutely amazing. And she also mentioned that we're going to have inside and outside train connections. So very cool. Your city in large numbers. In large numbers. Trains okay. Play another can we just take a peek at this? Like, holy cow, look how big this train station is. And it's just absolutely ginormous. So that just, just throwing that out there. The train station is freaking huge. Critical role as cargo transport. Oh no, that was cargo. Oh, she just, she just, that, I'm sorry. That was actually cargo. Okay. My bad. She said it. And so that is a cargo train station. Sorry, not a passenger train station. Cargo transport. Build a cargo train terminal. Here we go. This is a cargo train terminal as she just mentioned. There you go. So my bad for mixing that up again. You know, I'm just re reviewing this, you know, some mistakes happen. And you build a hub. Where businesses can receive, okay. ship, and store. Look at that cargo train. Outgoing goods. Hold on. I want to go back to that. Okay. So to the right is the cargo train station, obviously. But to the left, is this a bypass or is this like an actual cargo stop? I We don't know the answer to that, to that yet, but just something to keep in mind that maybe those two are connected. So what we saw may, may be connected. Incoming and outgoing goods. Water transport. Uh, uh, again, we have the cargo harbor. Well, not car, wow. It's not, <laughs> there is a cargo, um, there is a cargo ship. So that's cargo ship and then a ferry right to the left. So the ferry looks like a small yacht more so than a ferry, but that's just my opinion. It still looks good. But then this beautiful view of the mountains in the background and the downtown and the bridge really beautiful shot right there so really like that another option for passenger travel and moving cargo it's another oh there's our ferry network. the water transports real yeah look at that are we gonna have i'm just so we have different color cargo ships right now but um are we gonna have a million of them like city skylines one i don't know i'm just throwing that out there i don't know the actual answer i'm just throwing that out there oh and you can see the cargo port actually in the background if i um if you do take a peek at that you can see that cool Potential lies in imports and exports you see cargo ships might be Ooh, to the right you see the cargo oh that's not cargo. you see the cruise ships to the right that is the above view of the cruise ships very cool i also like the way the water looks in this game more so than city skylines one that's just me than trains, but these bad boys can carry 1000 tons of stuff Holy cow. Okay. So the cargo ships can carry 1000 tons. Holy cow. So if we go back to that train, let me see if I could find this really quick. 
if we go back over here, so I'm going to just stop this right here. So if you look at the train to the left, it's handling 580 tons a month. So, but if you're to remember the, the cargo ship itself can carry a thousand. Holy cow. That's pretty insane. So that's a thousand per shipment, but I'm assuming that's based on the ship actually being full, like 100% full of cargo. But anyways, that's a lot of cargo. Lies in imports and exports. You see, cargo ships might be slower than trains, but these bad boys can carry 1,000 tons of stuff to and from mm -hmm. your city. Yeah, that's right. You can trade with other cities. Oh, you can trade with other cities in city. Wow, that is really, I think we are all wanting that in City Skylines 1, but that's really cool. So it can go outside of the map to a different city. So. I'm just spitballing this. So I'm assuming if you have other cities in city skylines that maybe they could put those, that cargo ship could potentially go, you know, to that other town or other city and get that cargo. That's just something to keep in mind that maybe all of these maps in city skylines too are interconnected. That's just a theory. I don't know that for fact, but just throwing that out there. So you'll need somewhere to house all the goods and resources coming and going easy. Like cargo train terminals, cargo harbors double as cargo storage facilities. Ooh, cargo harbors will st also have storage. Ooh, just like in real life. I mean, that makes sense. That's a, that's a good point. So that's really cool. I like that. But, you know, let's be honest. City Skylines content creators, we will actually be building more um, you know, storage around the cargo harbor. But let's keep going. <laughs> like all of the other networks, air transportation... Another look at airports, absolutely amazing. Like it looks really good at night. Has drawbacks. Planes carry fewer passengers and less cargo than ships and trains. Airports are also astronomically expensive. Okay, so as you just heard that airplanes do not carry that many passengers and that they are very big and they are very, very expensive. Well, I mean, I think that's normal for city skylines in general, but that's just something to note. And have the footprint of a small town. Ooh, have a footprint of a small town. Holy cow. Okay, if you compare the airport to the downtown area, holy cow. Yeah, that I I get exactly what you're saying. Oh my god. Okay, let's keep going. That is a big airport. So that runway is decently long. And the airport in general is freaking huge. However, air transport has a pretty irresistible advantage. Speed. Plus, planes won't add to road congestion. They don't follow up. So, speed. So, that means air, airplanes can get people from point to point a lot faster. But I wonder if that will connect intercity. Oh, okay. And you could also see that there's an airport line at the top. But look at the destination, though. So, so far, it's going from Lewiston to Lewiston. But, so I guess... But, the, but then there's a line though. So maybe, okay, okay, okay. We got to think about this. Maybe there isn't, maybe airports, you can go from one airport to the next airport on the same map. Hmm. Because look, at, it says route, it says line. Ooh, that's really interesting. And you can see here that the passenger count is at 175. So keep that in mind. I, I mean, those are not huge compared to like trains and stuff like that. The rigid track outside connections incredibly easy okay so the last thing she said about the airport obviously i know you guys can hear it but makes outside connections incredibly easy but the weird part is is if the cargo lines can connect to the outside of the city itself does that mean i i'm still wondering does the air you know does the airplane or the airlines do that um i don't know i guess we'll find out the transport mix in your city will become complex and intricate Use the transportation overview. Oh, transportation overview. Look at this. So you can see, wow, you can see how long, how many stops. You can see the length, the amount of buses, how many people using it, and the usage. Wow. And you can see that for every single form of transportation. So you can see buses, trains, metro, trams, ferries, and airports. Okay. So we have all of those, but you can see the efficiency of them, which is really cool. And also you can see the cargo one. So I'm, I hope they click over the cargo one. I actually don't know. So let's keep going. Review passenger and cargo transportation. Oh, cargo. Oh, cargo. Okay. 
So here is your, so, ooh, ooh, sorry, I'm getting excited. So you have cargo trains, cargo ships, and then cargo airplanes. So, holy cow, so you could see how far they go for their rail, wow, rail lines, so that's really far. I mean, 30 kilometers, I don't know that what that is in miles necessarily, but that's decently far. And then you can see how many stops, how many trains for cargo. Oh, I wonder if you're able to um, control how many trains go back and forth. Remember in Sea Skylines 1, it was a cluster, then insert swear word. Yeah, it was just ugly, like sometimes with our cargo train station. So keep that in mind. So really cool. So we have different, you can definitely have more control of your cargo coming in and out of your city. Awesome, awesome stuff. Network separately. Yeah, they're separate. I like it. Type to see high level details about individual lines. Ooh, okay, okay. So here are the tram lines. Okay, same thing. Them on or off. Okay. So so far you can turn them on or off, okay? Use the transportation info view to understand the impact of your networks. Okay, so you can use the info. I mean, we had that in City Skylines 1. We've seen this before with the buses. You can see the length. Oh, my God, though. Oh, that is for a ship, though. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's really interesting. And then you can see the price. So I'm assuming the ship line is considered the cruise ship port or ferry, I'm assuming. But, like, ship, I don't know. That's a, I guess we don't know the answer to that. Hmm, because we don't see, okay, it says 170 passengers. I mean, is that the cruise ship that we saw or the ferry? But again, you can control your prices, how many vehicles you have going, and that's really nice. Of your networks. Plan and manage transportation networks carefully to find the right tempo for the movement of people and cargo. Find the right tempo of people and cargo. So, and look at all these parking lots. Holy cow. So we have a lot of transportation over here like um you can see here i believe that is an is that an above ground metro station or a maintenance building to the right for the metro line and then we do have a few other buildings i'm trying to look we have an air traffic but we don't know what comes with the city skylines airport yet we just know that it's big and you can see different size planes here we have a smaller one then to the right we have more so like an international one um, it looks slightly bigger, maybe not international, but it looks big enough to go overseas. So you can see that definitely different views of the airport. Look at that beautiful cargo train. Oh, oh, it looks so awesome. Well, march your city toward greatness. March my city towards greatness. Nice. What is that? What do you think the building in front of us is? Is that a hospital? Like, right? Oh, you can see it. Yes, yeah, so you can see the red stop sign or not. Oh, my God. The red hospital sign. I think that's like an international logo. It's like a plus sign almost. All right, we're almost done. 19 seconds left. Okay, guys, so that, never mind. So that is the end of the video. Please let me know in the comment section below. What did you think of this video? What are you excited about? Please let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe for more City Skylines 2 content. Thank you very much. Have a great day.